So who knew we were facing a food crisis? Oh, there's a few of us. So climate change is fundamentally altering the way we produce food and our capacity to do so. My name's Olympia. I'm the founder of GoTerra. Um, we are invested, I would say, in solving these, this big problem. So what are the huge problems? So by 2050, Australia is going to have to increase grain production by 60%. We're on uh, target right now for a 40% increase. And there, at this time, conventionally, there are no mechanisms by which to further increase uh, the shortfall. At the same time, we waste one third of all the food we produce. And that costs Australia $20 billion a year in lost product and waste management service fees alone. So that's a bit terrifying to think about on a regular afternoon in Canberra. And what in the world has it got to do with being a maggot farmer? Um, basically, what we needed to do was figure out a way to <coughs> get rid of food waste or manage food waste at the same time creating feed for farm animals. And not luckily for us, Mother Nature has created an answer who does it all by themselves. So this is the black soldier fly. And I'm aware that I, as a former wool classer, I'm standing in front of Australians telling them that flies are a good thing and that maggots are the next answer for the future. So just bear with me as we walk through the irony. <coughs> so we'll talk about the big pink elephant in the room. Flies are pests, flies smell, flies create disease. And that is a correct answer for some flies, but I'd like you to, uh, to meet the black soldier fly. These guys are not a vector for human disease. As a fly, they do not eat, which is why most Australians have not seen them, even though they're indigenous to Australia. So they aren't susceptible to trying to eat your food or hanging out around your plate or on livestock. The larvae themselves eat aerobically, not anaerobically, so they don't smell the same way that maggots do, and they tend to clear pathogens faster, and in some cases can metabolise a lot of the pathogens that live in food waste, making them quite safe for handling um, and management, and definitely for use as a livestock feed. But <coughs> we're down in Fishwick, and we are farming black soldier flies, and that's a very great thing because it's a sustainable system. So we put the food waste in, we feed it to the maggots, the maggots get ground up and turned into chicken feed, we feed it back to the chickens, we make chickens into burgers, we waste some of the burger, and we put it back and feed it to maggots. So it is literally the only solution currently that is a true circular solution to the management of food waste but how many of you would like to spend your afternoons grinding up food waste manually and feeding it to maggots? Everybody. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I don't. And it didn't take long doing that in a warehouse before we all sort of looked at each other and went, this is a really dumb idea. So we have designed the world's first modular <coughs> and mobile insect farming system. So our idea is, Right now, insect farming is an a industrialised process. People build big factories and they truck food waste and they feed it to maggots and they truck out the maggots to be fed um, to livestock. It's an industrialised solution to an industrialised problem and I'm just going to say, uh, put my money on the fact that it might not work. So for us, it was about how can we get closer to food waste and where waste is so that the trucking miles are reduced the handling um, barriers are removed and logistically we can uh, access more food waste more quickly. So we've created a modular system. The modular system runs on AI and IoT um, using sensors to <coughs> manage humidity, temperature, feeding and then of course harvesting. So our enclosed units can manage five kilos, a day, uh, uh, five tonnes of food waste a day and they don't require human intervention. So nobody has to actually walk into that system whilst it's running. So it's pretty simple, really. We're going to feed the world, we're going to save money, and we're just going to keep doing it over and over again using maggots and AI. And I really hope that when you're putting your food waste into the bin, you start thinking perhaps not as that it's food waste, but that it could be a way to feed our future. Thank you.